There I am. Hey guys, welcome back to another day of the Big Daddy Play Show. What's going on with you guys? I'm sorry I didn't put out this video earlier, but things were going on. You know, I can't just put anything out there. I'm going to put something out there you guys wouldn't like. Something interesting, something funny. And yesterday was not happening, so today is a much better day. So I've made the video for you guys today. Let's see what's going on. Um, good news for everybody. America is not getting fatter. Go figure, right? Nah, according to uh, according to statistics that the federal government have been tracking since ooh, for 40 years now, uh, our daily calorie consumption on average, uh, it's down by 100. Which doesn't seem like a lot. The average American is eating 100 calories less than before. Doesn't sound like a big deal, but it is a big deal. The number is going down. We're not getting fatter. We're getting smaller. We need to encourage this. Healthier foods, more vegetables, more exercising, things like that. Another thing that is helping this is that consumption of non-dietary, you know, sodas are actually going down by 25%. That means people are taking, drinking more water and more natural uh, juices than carbonated soda. Great job, people. Let's keep it up. And to show everybody I'm not a hypocrite, I too am starting to work out a little. So every day now I'm doing a little 20 minute walk just to show you guys that it's not that hard. That's all it takes. And let's see. If I do it, you guys can do it. And let's lose weight together and be healthy. All right. <laughs> what else is going on? What else is going on? Oh, this might uh, be interesting to a lot of people. Bugs Bunny is turning 75. Yeah. That old cartoon character. I, very iconic all over the U.S. He's a turning 75. Does that mean the end for him? No. I mean, there are no brand new Warner Brothers cartoons with the whole cast from the original Warner, I mean, the Warner Brothers, you know, crew, but they're still making new ones. So we still got Daffy, Taz, Bugs. They're still in new coming cartoons and stories. They even have baby ones with baby uh, Taz and baby Daffy and baby um, Bugs. So it's not over. I think they might be one of the longest running cartoons that are still running. You know, Flintstones had a good time, but they stopped. And The Simpsons have been on for a long time, but at the same time, they are not as old as Bugs Bunny. So, congratulations, Bugs. Now, talking about somebody who's 75 makes me feel kind of old. And when I feel old, I feel like taking a vacation. So what I do when I want to take a vacation? Well, I have a connection, people. I know a friend. Her name is Tiffany McLean, and she has this company called Travel Plus. Now, you guys should. I'm going to put the link for you. I'm going to hook you guys up. Put the link down there for you guys. Make sure you can get in contact with her. She has great deals in the cell. If you guys want to tell her that uh, you saw my video and that's how you got her information, I'm pretty sure she'll give you even a better incentive than she already had planned. You know, so if you guys are planning to take a vacation, whether you're going on a family or just single and want to go, talk to her. Now, why do I recommend a person versus a website? It's simple. A website, you only go there for the price. That's all you see. You see the nice picture, the pictures that that particular company or hotel wants you to see. That scene. It's a it's a really interesting thing how they do. But they make the worst hotels look like the greatest hotels. Best believe. And that's why you have to be careful with a website. With a traveling agent like Miss uh, McLean, she actually is experienced. She knows. She got reviews. She has straight knowledge of what to expect. And she also is going to ask you questions like, are you going alone? Are you going to family? What kind of event you want to do? You know, things like that. So go ahead, give her a call if you're planning to take a trip or you want to take a trip. And I know she'll hook you up, folks. All right? <laughs> now, for the joke of the day. And it's not a eh, little joke. little joke. I heard it the other day. What do you guys call a bear with no teeth? I'll give you a second to think about it. Okay, the answer? What do you call a bear with no teeth? Oh, ooh, don't even have it on camera right now. Bam! Gummy bears! Go figure. Oh, <laughs> uh, and that's pretty much it. Like I said, nothing was really going on yesterday. Not much going on in the world today, folks. Um, but there is something I want to close with that I want to talk about. Dragon Ball Z. It is back. It's better than ever. I know most of you fans have seen, um... Battle of the Gods, which everybody thought it was a great movie, even though, and yes, it's a spoiler, technically, Goku didn't win. 
it was still a great movie, and nobody really lost. And it, it brought everybody back, you know, back to who's who, what's what. Now we even have Majin Buu in the back eating all the time. Vegeta is all nervous about his wife talking to the god of war or whatnot. It's just a great movie. And now they have Dragon Ball Z Resurrection F. Now what is F? I'm pretty sure everybody knows that F is Freezer. And that's right, people. Freezer is back. And he has a new form. And so how are we going to fight him? Well, if you guys saw the trailer, and I'm sure most of you guys did, Blue Hair. Goku gets his own new transformation. Now, I saw part of the trailer that says a lot to me. And I'm not going to spoil it. I'm not going to give my opinion of what I think is going to happen. But the movie is already out in Japan. A lot of people saw it. It is getting great reviews. And on average, it's getting at least 8.0 or better. All right? And I'm talking about 0 to 10. So think about it. And that's just one review. I'm pretty sure there are many more reviews coming up. And... The franchise is not over. This is going to be, I think, the... I forgot what installment, but we have, like, I think, 18 movies in the Dragon Ball series, or 8, but I think it's 18. I'll have to j double check on that, and I'll get back to you. But if you guys know the answer, let me know. Also, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed, please do, and give me a like. Um, I want to ask you guys a favor. If anybody, and I know I'm not supposed to do this, but if anybody has a copy, an English, I mean, um. Japanese copy of that movie that they can send over to me, that would be much appreciated. But it doesn't matter. I'm still going to get my theater tickets. Oh, that's another thing. That's the thing I need to tell you guys. It will be out in the U.S. There will be, of course, a translated American version, but it's going to be limited. It's not going to all theaters. It's not going to be a big Hollywood blockbuster hit, of course, but they will put it in the theaters in the U.S. It's going to be in August 4th of this year, so we're not that far ahead. But, like I said, it's limited, so they're going to take that movie out on the 12th. So that doesn't give you a lot of days to catch that movie. If you really want to see it, make sure you plan between the 4th of August and the 12th of August to see. If not, you're going to have to get it like everybody else, the Internet. <laughs> all right, folks, that's pretty much everything for today. Uh, if you have any comments, by all means, write to me. And with that said, I'll see you guys later. I hope you enjoy the video.